And that is Brett Hume, our chief political correspondent. So, Brett, what was the point of this? Well, I think the point of it was to give Sessions a chance to clear his name, which had been dragged through the mud over a period of months now by various leaks and suggestions and innuendos, including the most recent batch from James Comey himself, who, by the way, did not have a good day today. And I think this is a hearing that should not have needed to be held, but it was, so that, so that Sessions by the way, meeting before, appearing before a group of men and women who know him very well and have known him, most of them, for many years and know that he is basically a decent and honorable man of whom it would be almost absurd to imagine that he would be colluding with the Russians on anything. He's, after all, a conservative, was a conservative senator from Alabama with a very hawkish record. So the absurdity on the face of it hasn't mattered. So in other words, he was tough on Russia when yes, it actually yes, mattered, when yes, they're holding yes. half the world hostage. Ex he, he Exactly right. And there was never any real evidence that he colluded. Basically, what we ended up talking about was meetings with the Russian ambassador. It's possible to think of things more commonplace in Washington than officials and members of Congress meeting with the Russian ambassador, but it's not that easy. The Russian ambassador <laughs> has for many, uh, this man and his predecessors have been around town for years. They meet with all kinds of people. The last time I was in the Senate dining room was some years ago. The Russian ambassador was in there having lunch with Dianne Feinstein. I never gave it a second thought. And why would I? Such meetings are, are, happen all the time. They mean nothing. And I, I noticed your previous guest was, was referring to the ambassador as the chief spy master. I don't think he's the chief spy master. <laughs> he looks like the chief lunch haver to me. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. I guess what I object to is the, in effect, the criminalization of policy differences. So the idea that if you're against sanctions on Russia, and there are reasons to be against them, that somehow you're doing the bidding of Vladimir Putin. Like, can't you have a legitimate disagreement well, without accusing someone of treason? Uh, of, of course you can. And, but that's not what this is about. Nobody the people who are raising these accusations don't really think that anybody's committed treason. They're looking for ways to bring down Donald Trump and get at the people around him. That's what this is about and it's what it's been about from the start. To them, his election is unthinkable, a catastrophe for our nation. I know they sincerely believe this and that th this cannot be allowed to proceed. And they're trying everything they can. And this idea that the Russians colluded and somehow perhaps even uh, help to arrange the election of Donald Trump has been a piece of it for a long time. The problem has been from the beginning. No evidence. This evidence, is... evidence of Russian attempts to intervene in the election, to influence the election, have been present everywhere. Evidence of collusion with Donald Trump and the people around him has been in very, very short supply to the point now where the, you notice that the collusion story is sliding away from us now. We're not hearing that much more about it. They got nothing out of this today. They didn't get anything on collusion out of Comey either. So now we're talking about, well, maybe there was obstruction of justice, you see, in the firing of Comey. So we're very far afield from remember, what these investigations, the Congressional and the Justice Department, the FBI investigations, were supposed to be about from the start which was the whole panoply exactly. of Russian efforts. It has been described one way and one way only from the start, a counterintelligence investigation, which is to say right. that the FBI in carrying this out under Comey and since has been trying to, acting as an intelligence agency, investigating to find out what kind of spying activity went on against which the United totally States. Which is totally legitimate. Exactly. This is why I love talking, because you bring perspective. So that's, Thank you that's, where, that's where this is supposed to be. It has strayed very far afield. Very far away.